For more prayers from Line of Judah, subscribe to our prayer channel. Click the link in the description. Help is on the way. Psalms 121 Morning Prayer At times, our minds start racing before our feet touch the ground. Spirits heavy, hearts burdened, anxiety starts to creep in before the day has fully begun. Many situations in life make us worried, even when we trust that God is in control. Fear and worry is a daily challenge that each and every one of us have to fight. Everyone has to fight fear and worry. If you are young, you have to fight it. If you are old, you have to fight it. If you are rich, you have to fight it. If you are poor, you have to fight it. Regardless of your race, gender, or political view, in your own personal life, you will have to fight fear and worry. Some people are worrying about their health at the moment. Some people about their finances. Some about the day they have ahead of them. But I am here today to remind you, you have a God who is bigger than your situation. The Book of Psalms provides us with numerous verses of real challenges and prayers for divine protection and covering. It does not matter what you are facing today, you can decide to fix your mind and heart on the Word of God, trusting that God is always with you to deliver and protect you from every challenging situation. Psalm 121 is a powerful chapter as it illustrates to us the simple point that we should not worry about what we are going through. Also, it is a hope-filled chapter revealing to us to always depend on God for help. The chapter assures us that Almighty God, Creator of the universe, is always watching us, preserving our going out and coming in. It is easy to get defeated when we depend on our strength or looking around us. All we need to do at such times is focus on God. Hebrews 13 verse 5 says, Let your conduct be without covetousness, be content with such things as you have. He has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Our God is our ever-present help in times of trouble and help. Do not fret, for help is on the way. If you can, pray this prayer every day. Let us pray. Dear God, I come in your presence, in the precious name of Jesus. I acknowledge Jesus as the source of everything that I have. I now lift my eyes above my worldly securities and earthly circumstances. I look towards heaven with expectations, being confident and bold in who I am. I choose to rise above weak faith, and I choose to believe in your wonderful faithfulness. You are such a faithful God who never fails. Father, the earth is your footstool, and heaven is your throne. You are an all-powerful, mighty God, and that fact brings me great peace as my help comes from you. I acknowledge you, Lord, as my preserver and keeper. I pray, Lord, that you direct my paths in all that I do today. Guide me and lead me in all your wonderful ways. In Jesus' name. I refuse to fear today in Jesus' name. I refuse to worry about this day in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I am so grateful that you keep my feet from falling. You will not suffer me to be moved out of the foundation in which I stand. Not only that, Father, but you also give angels charge over me to watch and protect me from being hurt. I pray that the angels you have sent to watch over me may be strengthened in Jesus' name, and that whatever battle they fight on my behalf they may win in Jesus' name.
You preserve me and the graces you have bestowed me through Jesus Christ. I go from night to day with boldness and confidence because you watch over me always. Father, I am secure in your protection because, unlike human security guards, you do not get tired. Therefore, you do not sleep or slumber. Glory to you, O King of kings. Glory to you, O Lord of lords. Thank you for being my helper. Thank you for being my protector. Heavenly Father, the same way you allow the moon and sun to shine in all seasons, you will not let the devil hurt me. You preserved the children of Israel with a pillar of fire at night and cloud by day. In Exodus 13 verse 21, I acknowledge you protect and deliver me from all life's uncertainties. Dear God, you are everywhere. Your presence and favor surrounds me as a shield. Thank you, Lord, that you have made a hedge of protection around me. Around my household, and around what I have on each side. Thus the devil cannot attack me. Gracious King, you have graciously provided me with eternal life through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I am grateful that you jealously preserve my soul from all kinds of evil. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus to die, because I am now redeemed. This sacrifice proves that you will do everything necessary to preserve me in your grace and protect me from demonic oppressions and evil influences. Omnipresent Father, thank you that you keep my coming in and my going out safe. Therefore, I know that whatever I face today, I will be victorious in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all the dangers and traps of the enemy you have protected me from and the ones you will protect me from today. I am so glad that I don't have to go through life alone. I am so glad I don't have to face this day alone. But Father, I know that you go before me and you go with me. Thank you for turning every situation for my good. Father, I want to thank you. Psalms 46 verse 1 to 2 which states that you are my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear, even though the earth be removed and though the mountains are carried into the midst of the sea. Thank you, Lord, that you are my shepherd I shall not want. You make me lie down in green pastures and you lead me beside the still waters. I decree and declare, Psalms 121, verse 1 to 8, upon my life and my loved ones. I will lift my eyes up to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow my foot to be moved. He who keeps me will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade at my right hand. The sun shall not strike me by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. You shall preserve my soul. The Lord preserves my going out, coming in from this time forth, and even always. This verse is wonderful, Lord. I know help is going to be with me throughout this day. That you, Lord, Since, Almighty Father, you spoke into existence the earth, the universe, and heavens. Because you know my name and the number of hairs on my head, I am confident that I can call you for help. Therefore, I lift my heart and eyes to Jehovah, El Shaddai, God Almighty. For you see my needs, hear my requests, and cares about my heart. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me today and all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' precious name, I pray and believe. Amen and Amen. For more prayers from Line of Judah, subscribe to our prayer channel. Click the link in the description.